With my co-host Joanne Thomas, our special guest is actress Dahlia Salem. She plays Chloe Joe in the film Cut. Hope you enjoy. Welcome to the show. Uh, you are here today for the film Cut. Uh, it's getting premiered this week, and uh, you star with some great people: uh, Susie Lanier Bromlett, William McNamara, Chris Moore, David Banks, Sam Scarber. And on and on and on. Of course, David Roundtree, the director, and he also played the character of Travis Simon. And Gabrielle Stone, the daughter of Dee Wallace. That's right. Uh, How did you get involved in this film, which I'm hoping to get in the next couple of days to get a chance to watch? How did you get involved in this uh, possibly a gem of a film? Yeah, um, it it was very exciting. Um, I actually met David Roundtree through a good friend of ours, our mutual friend, Mike Simon. Um, okay. And Mike Simon, I guess he's what is he exactly at Freestyle Films? Roundtree, help me out with that. What's his? Uh... Yeah, he, he is a freestyle releasing, and uh, I've known Mike for several years. And actually, the name Mike Simon was the inspiration for Travis's last name of Simon in the film. I was just going about to say that. Okay, that sounds cool. <laughs> yeah. So um, basically, you know, Mike said, you know, there's this uh, wonderful director. I think you should meet him. There could be a role in there, and this really cool thing. He's doing this passion project of his, and uh, David and I had an interview, and I, I loved it because I, I really love the horror genre, anyway. So it was very oh, okay. to do that. Yeah. Well, so ob- so obviously you're cuter than me because I was told that too that Travis is a nice guy to send him <laughs> my resume, and I didn't get no part. So apparently, uh, <laughs> okay, I understand. And you play the character of Chloe Joe. Now, what is Chloe Joe's uh, 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 role in this film? What is she, and what she do, and how is she part of the film? Well, it's it's, it's really interesting. She's sort of um, it's sort of an ambiguous introduction in some ways. You know, she without giving too much away, she sort of comes onto the scene um, as a woman of the night, and you don't really okay. know. Uh, you know, so she she meets Travis and Lane, uh, David Roundtree and David Banks characters. Um, and they sort of solicit her, so she sort of comes on in a sort of a mysterious way, and you don't really know what, how she's involved, or you know, basically what happens to her um, is something uh, that you realize later. I don't really want to give too much away. It's kind of tough. Um, right, right. But, right. It's, uh, you know, you think something happens to her, and then maybe it didn't actually happen to her, and she is more involved than you think with these oh. two characters. So it's it's a, a mystery. That's how I, I see it. And she sort of um, becomes, um, she's really caught up with what's going on, and you realize that there's a little bit more to her than you think. And that's how mm. I sum her up, yeah. Well, I, ironically enough, I usually don't do interviews before I see the movie, because, but it, sometimes I do. And I, I think sometimes when you talk to the cast members and the director of a film that you didn't see yet, you kind of like go into the film with a different um, view because now you're hearing and hearing the experiences of the actors than watching the film afterwards. It has a different, a different taste in your mouth or, or your own different vision of the film. So, yeah. Now, I noticed that you have a stunt double. A body double? I, I heard about that, but I, I didn't meet my, my double. I don't know. Oh. But some pretty um, uh, gnarly things happened to me, so I can imagine why I have one. My okay. Character. Anna Abel. Anna Abel plays your... Uh, that's pretty interesting. I've never seen it before in a film, as far as a horror. I've never seen a, a, uh, a body double. Interesting. Okay. Well, you're high class. How about well, that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That. <laughs> now, he, he, here's a question for you, uh, Dyla. Um, oh, yeah. Did you ever... <laughs> <laughs> Scott, you got to get the names right. <laughs> oh. uh, Miss Salem. Um, <laughs> is that better? Uh, did you ever... Did you know who Suze Lemonier Bromlett was before you were casted in this film? Uh, yes, I did, actually. Um, you know, she's uh, very famous for The Hills, and uh, The Hills has, I, I just remember seeing that a long time ago, and so she's uh, just uh, one of those gals, you know, sort of like a D. Wallace Stone to me, you know, that's how I, I see them. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you know what? That's exactly right. That's exactly yeah. right. Because uh, me as a 46-year-old and a child of the 80s, I've seen D. Wallace and Cujo and E.T. Yeah. You know, Susie in the Hills Have Eyes and stuff. And uh, 
Yeah, I think it's very unique to see some of these uh, um, actors and actresses from my day that's still in the business, you know, like Lynn Lowry and all these young ladies, and how they're still – they still got their looks. I mean, oh, Caroline yeah. Williams, they all are beautiful women. I mean, uh, <laughs> and to they, their still age, have, uh, they still have that following, you know? I mean, there's a big, yes. huge uh, – you know, all the people in the horror genre, you know, all those fans are, are just so excited to see her. So Ooh. it's really cool. Ooh to be part of that, you know, that energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you're going to be at the, at the premiere the first night, I take it? You got your tickets? I know David Banks didn't get his in time, but did you get yours? <laughs> yes, I did. I certainly did. I was ready. I'm up and ready. Hey, David, don't worry. I'm Possibly I might be there on the 19th, so. You know what? I think I'm going to have to find a scalper. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can sit on my lap, Dave. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, did, I did that intentionally. That's, that's, that's I did that. <laughs> to sneak you in the back door. You can watch it. You know I mean? <laughs> awesome. You know, you know. Um, I think that uh, from what I've been hearing about this film, of course, I have not seen it, as I said. But I mean, from what uh, Susie was talking about, it she's actually playing the, the character of the Hills Have Eyes, Susan Lanier, that she's very excited about. And I think that this thing might get some legs. It might be. Um, I think once the reviews start coming out and. And I think this thing's really going to be taking a uh, a steamroll because not only that you have Gabriel Stone, um, of course you have David and David and uh, Miss Salem. <laughs> I'm not going to try that first name again. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's um, okay. So thanks so much. Nice to, no to meet you guys on the phone. Yep. Yeah, take care of yourself and be safe. Yes. All right. Thank you. Take care. Have a great no one, Okay. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Bye. Oh, yeah. Disturbing news in North Hollywood. Two headless female bodies were found early this morning, and police are now saying this could be the work of a possible serial killer. I got an idea how to make some easy money. We can make a movie by getting real people and just scaring them. Let's do it. Every big horror movie's got like a larger than life bad guy. I think we gotta find somebody like that. Wait a second, that's a homeless guy from out yeah. back. She's perfect. Fun. Take this. Just scare her. The guy came in there with a knife and he slit her throat. We're accomplices to murder. I just don't know why I have to be the one to do this. I guess the director can do whatever he wants, right? from here.